Hello and welcome to another video below Tennis Power Pals. Um, in this video I'm going to show how to do a little editing. I haven't done a video like that before, so I figured you guys might be interested. I have to work on Kena Wishes tonight, so I figured I could show you a couple things on what I'm doing tonight, the project I'm working on. And I can show you how to do a little green screen if you're interested in that. So uh, the program I use is Sony Vegas um, Platinum HD Platinum 11, the one I use. I know there's a newer model 12 out, but I haven't got that yet. So I'm um, going to go up, these are my projects, I'm going to go up to episode 6, which is the newest episode for Kino Wishes, and open it up. Um, if you're familiar with any video editing software, or if you're familiar with this program itself, this should be fairly uh, straightforward, but um, I know I, the one thing I'm going to show is a different way to use green screen. A lot of people just use green screen for the green, um, but I'm going to show for another color, which is, a lot of people don't know you can do that. Okay, so um, this is the project. Um, this is a big project. For, this is all for episode 6, so you can tell uh, it's taking me longer than normal. It's a big episode. Um, yes, this will all be, and there's actually more to it than all this, but we can zoom up. Um, I can uh, show parts. This is a preview window. Um, Villain Vegas is basically pretty, pretty user-friendly. This is the video layers. i got video layers here that I can, like a text, video overlay, video. Um, that, those are just labeled. They can be anything I want them to be. And then i got audio below. Um, all my audio layers. So, what I'm going to do today, this is a, this part of the new episode, but um, what I'm going to show today is a project I'm working on right now. One of the creatures in the final last battle, or not last battle, the cave. The cave of here is Land of Fears. Okay, so what we're going to do, most people, what I'll show is a uh, typical green screen is here in Sony Vegas, you have your window up here, Project Media Explorer, Transitions. So what you're going to do is go to Video FX, which I already have. Um, you can press Transitions, but I'm going to go Video FX, and then I'm going to go to Chroma Key, and I'm trying to get rid of this green. That's typical of what you do with green. So here's a green screen already set up for you. So just grab it, right, um, left-click it, and drag it to your file, video file, and your layer. And there, it's already kind of basically taken part of the uh, green out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first I'm going to zoom up a little bit. You can use your mouse to zoom up by scrolling it um, to make your layer closer. I'm going to here's the video effects properties. I'm going to click that and go back to where I was. And I'm going to click this hourglass. I'm going to click the green that I want to get rid of. Boom. And I'm going to show the highlights. Show mask only helps me get fine tune my file. So now I can see better what I'm taking out of green screen. Everything white is staying. Everything black is gone. So I want, I want Gaffin to be completely white. So I'm going to take away High Threshold. Now everything's white. That means everything is staying. But I only want Gaffin to stay. So I'm going to make Low Threshold, and there we go. It's looking a lot better. So there's Gaffin, a lot better. And then we want to always add a blur amount to 86, is what I typically do. That's the magic number for me. It looks pretty good. So uh, it blurs the edges, is what the blur amount does. It blurs the edges into the background, so it looks more natural. Okay, so that's typical That's typical blue screen, and then you throw a picture in the back. I don't know what pictures I have in this. I could find one. Uh, let's just throw... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, let's just throw that background image. Boom. So there's an image behind the gap in. Okay, well, there's other ways you can use chroma key, which I'm going to do here. I This is the bad guy from uh, the episode. He's going to be a creepy monster. But obviously right now it doesn't look creepy. That's just me in a black like Grim Reaper suit, and as I play it, you'll see it's just me turning around, you can see my face, I don't look creepy at all, I just look dumb. So, our job is to make this look creepy, and this is going to be rough, that's what I'm working on right now, but I'm going to show you kind of what I'm working on. So I'm going to go to Video Effects. First of all, we want him to look like a monster, and one cool thing, I'm sure a lot of people, if you haven't played around with it, it's really cool, is Invert. It makes you look very creepy. But obviously a lot of people have used this, but I'm going to go to 100% Inversion, bring it down, okay. So now he looks all white and creepy, sort of, like a ghost. But the problem is, I never green screened it out first. But that's okay, I'm going to do that after I put my effect in, because I want him to look like that. Now, it's purple in the background, not green. So we're going to use chroma key to take out the purple. So let's go to chroma key. Now I'm going to go up. Do, 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 a little higher, chroma key's right there. Okay, we're going to take the green screen, right here. We're going to drag it in, okay? Obviously this is not green, so nothing's taken out yet. But we're going to use the eyedropper that we used before. Click it. We're going to bring it in. We're not going to click the green. We're going to click the purple in the preview window. This is the color we want to take out. Click it. Okay, so now we've taken out the purple. So now we're going to show mask. We're going to come up here and take away that, just like we did before with the green with Gaffin. We want to get rid of the purple. We're going to have to play around with this to fine tune it, obviously. So I'm going to come 
here, take a little bit of that. Get this to where I'm somewhat happy with it. Mm, this will take some fine tuning too because if you don't uh, get exactly the right color then you have to play with it and that can take a while. But I always get a reasonably good spot that I like. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to take the mask away. Now I'm going to blur it a little bit. Do, do, do. Blur. Okay, so now this is a typical monster looking thing, but that's pretty typical. I want to make it different. You know, I want to make them look better. That's so creepy, but let's let's add something to it. So we're going to go to, um, let's go to color balance. Now let's do red mint tones. Make this guy look a little, give him some colors. So what I did is I went to color balance and you can just pick any of these, we're going to fix it later. So, color balance, now let's make him a little darker. So we're going to take away green, take away blue, let's make him red. Let's fill up red. Okay, that's looking kind of cool. Um, let's select shadow. Because it's going to highlight this thing. I was wearing a glove, so that makes it look like a skeleton hand. As you can see, I want that skeleton hand effect. Now, one thing that I want his face to be highlighted, and his hand, the shadows highlighted, but not in everybody else. So there's a cool... Uh, feature down here that selects the darkest um, colors. We're going to click this one, the black light. So I want a new blue, if you can see it better. New blue, and he has to dream glow. Um, we're just going to pick black light, but we're not going to really use it. Just because of the color, we're get, we just select it so we can mess with it later. Okay, so we obviously don't want it to look like that. So we're going to come here, we're going to fill that up, and we're going to bring this down a little bit to where we like it. Okay, now that's starting to look okay because my face is being filled up with purple. We don't want purple. Let's uh, give it green. I'll make it a little lighter than that. Uh, I don't know. I like that. Okay, so we're going to take that. Now uh, let's bring that down a little bit. Okay, so that's looking a lot creepier. Now we need to have a background. So let's um, also let's crop him. So you crop, you can, I want to make him closer up to the camera. So I'm going to go to here to the crop. I'm going to click on my little dot. That's in my timeline right here is my timeline. And this is, um, if you want to do different, like you wanted to zoom in and zoom out, that's your timeline. You can do multiple effects through your timeline. But we're just going to do the one. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to zoom them up. Doo, doo, doo. Zoom them up right there. So it looks better. We want to give them a background. I'm just going to take this one that I've already been using, drag it over. So background of a cave. Um, now let's get him a little darker. So let's go to brightness and contrast. So we're going to go all the way up to brightness and contrast. We're going to find it darker right here. We're not going to go very dark, just go darker. Drop it in. Because we want to look like it's kind of in a cave. So let's bring that down. Darker, darker, darker. And it's starting to look uh, pretty good. Um, somewhat creepy. Now let's watch it. And it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be rough. But uh, and obviously the green screen is kind of not where we want it. And we can go fix that a little bit. Just come here. It's filled in a lot better. And he's looking a lot creepier. A lot better than he was before. And there you go. That's uh, how we're going to do a couple monsters. And that's how you can mess around with green screen and not just typically green. You can take any color um, that you want, just using the eyedropper. And just about any video program will do that. But I'm more familiar with Sony, and that's what I use, so that's what I'm going to show. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, uh, comment and uh, subscribe to this channel. And if you want more, just let me know what you want to see of. If you want more green screen or audio or what. Um, I'm not a total expert at it, but I can just show you what I do for fun and for our videos. So yeah, um, and be sure to look out for the new Kino Wishes episode. Alright, bye guys.